Gemini, what's up? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is your general love reading for December, beginning half of December. We're going to see what's happening for you guys in love. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's general, right? It won't resonate with everybody out there, every Gemini. Check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. If you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. And Vimeo has your bonus reading for December, okay? How does your partner feel? Look at your person's energy. See what's on their mind. See how they view you. What's in their feelings and emotions, their heart space? What are they not revealing to you and how they would like to move forward? We also will look at what's going on behind the scenes. Influencing the connection, roadblocks, barriers, challenges, and the outcome, okay? So check that out on Vimeo. All right, Gemini, what's up? What's up? Let's see what's going on with you guys. If this hits home, if it resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm using the True Heart Intuitive Tarot, okay? This is a new deck. Hope you guys like it as much as I do. And I hope you guys like the holiday decor, okay? Changing things up for the holidays. Get us all in a cheery mood. All right, what's up with Gemini? Gemini and the person. Some clarity. I'm going to do the Celtic cross. So it's going to tell you what's going on, what's coming in. But if you want to look at your person's energy, how they feel, again, that's Vimeo, okay? All right, let's see. Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Wow. Gemini. Just like score. What did I just do? Libra. I did Libra's. The tower came out in the same position in reverse. And I have shuffled these cards off camera and off off and on camera. And we got the hermit. Wow. So I'm getting... Some of you guys are dealing with the Libra. All right, Gemini. What I'm seeing is that someone's in hermit right now. Okay, someone isn't talking. Not communicating. Someone's trying to find some answers about what the hell happened. Because something came to light. The tower, your person can certainly be avoiding you right now, okay? Because I'm getting, you guys are feeling uncomfortable with each other or something that came out and now your person is like in the hot seat. But I feel like with the tower, something was shooken up. This is the structure. This is the universe coming in, intervening, okay? And saying, you know what? This got to go. Something comes tumbling down, but allows something to be rebuilt, okay? And whatever was happening between you and your person, whether your person was holding back from you or not being completely honest, Gemini, that had to come to an end, okay? So something could have been revealed with this tower in reverse, okay? Something could have recently came out, could have been in the recent past, a distant past, but whatever came out, this was big, this was sudden, this was drastic and unexpected okay some of you guys are dealing with the virgo we also got scorpion energy but what i'm seeing is that now you guys are trying to find the answers i'm getting like clean up right now right um the hermit is going within right trying to find what's really going on what really happened right so you guys are both could certainly be in this energy but i really feel like it's you gemini okay because whatever happened whatever came out i think that was your partner your partner's drama your partner's mess <laughs> All right, what happened in the recent past? The temperance in reverse. So when, whenever, whatever happened, whatever came to light, I feel like it's caused a lot of, um, a lot of disturbance in this connection. Okay, I feel like emotionally it may have like really took you back. I'm, I'm feeling like even emotionally taking you out. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys are. You've lost your balance, okay? A lot of you guys are not in alignment with yourself right now because of what happened. But also your person, okay? Whatever happened, this whole connection got thrown off the, the damn train tracks, okay? That's what I'm feeling here. Some of you guys is a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. But I feel like you guys are not talking. There hasn't been communication perhaps with that hermit. Let's find out more. Gemini, we got the devil. Whew. We got all these major arcanas. Gemini, what are you going through right now? This month of December is big, big, big. We got a big shifts in energy. The devil, Capricorn. Some of you guys have viewed this person as the devil or something here that, you're, that you've been tied and bound to. You're feeling some kind of codependency with, okay? The devil can also just be a Capricorn, right? But there's something here in your energy that you guys um, are feeling perhaps is like... Mm, I know I feel like maybe I should have seen this sooner okay you could be associating this person with something that's toxic for you or you know you just got to get out of you got to let go what's going on in the foundation with your person I can't believe that tower came out first card up magician unbelief Gemini all these major arcanas and I've used these cards several times okay on both of my channels so you can't say I didn't shuffle I did all right magician there's something that's being created okay your person's energy 
they're, they're not done here. You are in their energy for sure. They're definitely heavily thinking about you, Gemini, after whatever happened. I feel like they know that you're pissed and they know that this is whatever came out. They know that you, you're not feeling it. Okay. Um, but I feel like someone is wanting to manifest something. Someone's wanting to create. They feel like there's still something here with you, Gemini. Let's see what's coming in. We got the seven of pentacles in reverse. So your person is reflecting on the situation and they feel that, you know, they, they poorly invested. Whatever they did, um, it was their fault, right? They did wrong. Because the seven of pentacles is usually when you invest in something and something manifests, it grows. And I feel that your person, they could have did something that now now they lost you now they've lost their investment and their investment was you okay because i do feel like there's something here that your person's looking back at the past and it's like wow i should have i should have did things a little differently okay so we got the magician them wanting to create something here let's see um we have the page of wands in reverse some of you guys Whatever came out, there was some kind of news here. And I don't think it was good news that you guys found out. Some of you guys, you have a child together. Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. What I'm also seeing that you guys are pulling back, Gemini, okay? You're holding off on perhaps reaching out to them or communicating. I feel like you guys are in that hermit energy where you just need some time alone. You're spending some time in solitude. Some of you guys just don't want to deal with this person right now, okay? But they are still tied in your thoughts. I feel like you're constantly thinking about them. They're thinking about you too. In fact, look, the six of cups unbelievable in fact the six of cups came out in reverse so your person is um doing heavy reflecting on you about the situation they view you as their soulmate right you guys have history there was love here whoever you're dealing with gemini they do have love for you the six of cups came out in reverse because they know they did wrong because now they're looking back at the situation and it's like wow i screwed up with my gemini right how do I hurt the person that I actually love, that I actually care about, right? You guys could have been, I mean, dating through from childhood, college years, okay? You guys go way back. I'm getting six months, six years, seven years, six, whatever. Honestly, Gemini, your person knows they messed up big time, okay? And the Six of Cups is that they're constantly thinking about you. Nostalgia, memories, the good times, the bad times, right? We also have the Two of Pentacles. Some of you guys are not really sure about this person anymore. You're going back and forth. Some of you guys are just really trying to get in line with yourself, right? Whatever came out, you guys, it just really took you back, okay? And now you guys are just trying to find balance, equilibrium. Some of you guys are meditating, spending, doing some self-care. You guys listen to tarot readings. You're just trying to get your groove back, right, Gemini? Because this person, whatever they did, whatever that tower was, secrets, delusions, betrayal, um, drama, hiding things, whatever, it could have been related to a Virgo. But ultimately, you guys are just like, I need to step back. This was too much. This was just too much, okay? Let's see the outcome. Let's see the outcome. Oops, outcome here for Gemini. Let's get some quick messages, Gemini. Wow, Ace of Dis, Ace of Pentacles. What the hell? And we got the star. So, wow. So, what I'm seeing, Gemini, your person, <laughs> look at that. They want to heal. The star, Aquarian energy, this is someone who wants to still pour into the situation. They're hopeful and wishing and praying that you'll have them back, that you'll take them back because they view, they want a new beginning here. The Ace of Pentacles is someone who still wants to build, to come together, to collaborate, to work on a future together. They still see value here in this connection. Again, they felt like they've lost, they've lost their investment. They lost something that was valuable with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They can't get over you. They're constantly thinking about what they've done wrong. And Ace of Pentacles, they're wanting a new beginning ace is about new beginnings here your person certainly could be coming in with an offer as soon as you pull back right the star is wanting to heal wanting to come together wishfully hoping praying manifesting you back with the magician card oh your person wants you bad gemini all right let's get some clarity here um i'm going to use the wheel of the year and let's get some clarity. Let's find out some more. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Again, this is what's going on. But if you want to look at how your person feels, all that jazz, check out Vimeo, okay? For December. All right. The Tower. Unbelievable. The Tower. What came out? Scorpio, Virgo here. What's this about? Seven of, seven of Wands. So, yeah, yeah. Whatever happened, you guys are guarded now. You're guarded towards this person. Some of you guys are blocking this person out. You're not letting them in. It could be vice versa. But whatever happened, mm -mm, you guys, I'm getting some pullback, okay? 
push back, pull back, whatever you want to say. Why is the hermit here? You guys are thinking. You need you need peace of mind, right? You need a damn break because whatever happened, it threw you off, right? So why is the hermit here? So you guys may be having some downtime, maybe not communicating as you were before. We've got two cards here. Yeah, Page of Wands. Page of Wands came out here for your energy as well. So that makes sense. Whatever news that came out, you guys took a step back. You feel defeated. The Five of Swords, too much damn drama. Who needs this, right? So you guys felt like this was just a lot. This took you out. You see these see the people in this deck, in this particular card with the Five of Swords, just feeling hurt. Could have been some lies, dishonesty as well that you may have found out that's causing you now to pull back. Okay, some kind of bad news is what I'm seeing here. All right, um, the temperance. Why is the temperance here in the reverse? Okay, so this is out of off of alignment, out of balance, okay? Some of you guys are just no longer patient with this person. So, I mean, I just feel like you guys have been overly patient, and now you're no longer patient. Oh, the two of cups. Yeah, wow. So you guys had something special here. You did. Okay, that's your energy. Gemini, you're coming out twice in your reading for December with all these damn major arcanas. I can't get a break. Can I count these these major arcanas? We got the star. We got the magician. We got the tower. We got the hermit, the temperance, the devil. Jeez Louise, okay? All right, so what I'm seeing is that, you know, this was very special, but I feel like some of you guys are waiting for this person to make a decision. The love is about a decision, and you guys have been overly patient with that person about it. Now, the devil. Why is the devil here for Gemini? You, some of you guys are dealing with the damn devil, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the three of pentacles and the four of cups. So, yeah, I feel like ultimately what I'm seeing, and again, it could be just a Capricorn, but three of pentacles, some of you guys, it was a third party you found out with that tower, but I feel like whatever happened, it caused you to no longer want to give to the situation, right? You guys felt like, you know what, how can I still... How can I trust this person? How can we still be friends? How you know? So the three of pentacles versus not being able to come together and collaborate. Okay, some of you guys, it, it was something in a, in a work situation, but the four of cups is like feeling like you know there's a missed opportunity here, right? Your person may be feeling this way about you. Um, all right, so that's what I'm seeing. Um, we also have you know you, they could have rejected you. They could have rejected you for a third party. Take it how it resonates. Why is the magician card here for Gemini's partner? In the environment so this is what you're not seeing right they're wanting to manifest something create an opportunity here to come back together they've lost their investments here right perhaps well they haven't lost it if they want to come back and get you the devil what is going on with this person wow i'm getting either strong codependency or your person is so damn like i'm getting to the your person obsessed with you some of you guys what is going on with your person? The devil came out twice for your energy in, in this person's energy. So you guys are like tightly bound to each other, like to a point where it may not even be healthy. It could just mean like crazy in love or just so head over heels with someone. Um, okay, so that that could be a very, very strong energy between you guys. All right. So let's see. Let me get clarity on the devil. I feel like your person can't get can't let you go. Okay, I'm getting that kind of energy to the point where you guys are just so obsessed. Why is the devil here? We have the star. No, the two of wands in reverse. Yeah, your person can't let you go. They can't see them like they can't see themselves without you. Your person's obsessed with you. I'm getting this devil with the two of wands in reverse obsessed, right? And they may have kept you as an option before, but they don't want to let you go. Mm -mm, they're not having it. If you're on for to a new journey, right? Two of wands. If you want to move forward in your life, let go of this person. You know, do what you need to do. Pick a direction. They're not wanting you to go. They're wanting to manifest you back. And be careful. This person may be doing some black magic on you with that devil card and the magician. Okay. I don't like it. I, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Okay, the, eight, <laughs> the seven of discs. Seven of pentacles, right? Yeah, they, they lost their investment. Ace of pentacles. Your person views you as someone that they should have had, right? They should have locked you down. They should have tied you up with that devil energy, put some handcuffs on you, that dominatrix kind of stuff. I mean, your person is freaky. Okay, Gemini? Some of you guys are dealing with the Scorpio because they're freaky too. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say I've said that before in another reading. I know because I have a lot of Scorpio friends and everything. So hey, I I I put that joke out there all the time. So don't take it offensive. Cross watchers, I don't think you're freaky. Okay, Scorpios. All right. 
um, the seven of swords. So yeah, your person could have certainly um, deceived you, lied to you, manipulated you, okay, cheated on you. And I feel like there could have been a commitment involved as well, okay? And your person now feels, well, I've lost you, right? I've lost Gemini, someone who I really cared about. There was definitely a value, a valuable connection here. And this person realized that they messed up because of another commitment or another person is what I'm seeing. The seven of swords, the three of pentacles here. There's something else, someone else involved that this person may have been keeping from you. What I'm seeing, it's caused you to take a step back with the page of wands energy after this news came to light with that tower something came to light mm -hmm. and it made you decide you know what i ain't with this so we also got the ace of swords oh my goodness gemini i'm telling you check out scorpio's reading the ace of swords came right there as well in that same position for scorpio Whew, some of you guys got scorpio up in your chart um but demanding the truth you guys want to know the truth what happened well, what was this about Give me all, I don't, no BS, right? No BS. I want to know the truth. The six of cups and verse, your person is reminiscing the good times, but also knowing the bad because they messed up, right? So you did some messed up things here. Or they treated you bad or they mistreated you or hurt you in some way with the six of cups and verse. And they can't seem to get over it. They're thinking about it. What else do we need to know about Gemini's person? Ooh, three of swords. Yeah, they hurt you big time. Three of swords. You guys are healing still. Um, third party, some of you guys. Third party, three of swords with the ace of pentacles. It could have been a, a commitment that you found out about or something regarding your person. Um, I'm getting stepping out of a commitment to be with someone else, okay? Or there was another commitment that you didn't know about that came to light. You put your guards up, you pulled back, and now you want the truth, okay? Some of you guys, they're thinking about you. They, the Three of Swords, um, they, they're hurt. You're hurt, okay? Let's get another card here for the Three of Swords. For Gemini's partner for December. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles came out. Your person definitely still wants to be in some kind of um, relationship or connection here with you. I feel like, yeah, they know they've hurt you, but I don't think your person's done. Okay, some of you guys, again, you have a child with each other. There's some kind of codependency here is what I'm seeing. There's a lot of pentacles here. Or you guys may have known each other from work. Six of Cups came out again. Your person wants to reconcile with you. They do. They want to come back. They want to bring this connection back together. We've got the Magician card in their energy. They're still tightly bound to you. Okay, they're still obsessed about you. I don't feel like whatever happened, it was bound to come to light, right? The tower is a blessing in disguise. The two of pentacles, I just feel like you guys are just not really sure. Yeah, the star in reverse. You guys are not so hopeful about this. The page of pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys just don't want to communicate with this person right now. And you're going back and forth in your head with the two of pentacles, juggling kind of energy. Should I, should I not, right? And should I communicate or not, right? The page of pentacles. Some of you guys just don't want to deal with this person right now. And the star in reverse, you guys just losing hope and faith some of you guys just um you're distant okay you've given up on this person you're not really sure if they can fulfill you but what i'm seeing is that your person's coming in hard with the ace of pentacles and a star this is someone who wants to bring you a solid offer a commitment heal pour into the situation here with you they're not losing hope they're not giving up on you is what i'm seeing okay no this person is very persistent any messages here the star and ace of pentacles here for gemini I think I only need one card. Yeah, Eight of Cups. They don't want to let you go. Someone walked away. They want to heal. So whoever walked away, th yeah, this is someone who wants to heal because I feel like they're, you've walked away here from your person or take it how it resonates, but someone still feels like there's something here. There's, there's a beginning that has to come, okay? Yeah, Ten of Cups. You make them happy, Gemini. You do. Some of you guys, they want to they come back together, heal a family situation, or they see this family here, a family life here with you. Okay, and I feel like it's not easy for this person to just let it go because they're wanting to bring it back together. Magician, the star, heal, faith. Okay, um, so Gemini, that's your reading for December. If this hits home, if it resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Vimeo has your bonus reading. How does your partner feel? And if you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. All right, you guys, take care. Happy holidays.